Hi, Kitten Internet. We're back with some more FTL. Um, I appear to be very tiny right now. Zoom in a little bit more. Uh, so today is the 23rd of August in the year of hell 2020. And um, today was the day that the last episode of my FTL run actually. I emphasize that weird. The last episode of my most recent FTL run ran uh, with the thrilling conclusion of me just curb stomping everything into the ground. That's not as fun. So we're going to be playing on a higher difficulty this time. We're playing on normal mode. So, um, enemies will be more difficult. I think the rule of thumb is basically an enemy is generated one sector earlier than normal. So things on easy and sector two would end up being enemies for sector one. That might be part of the reason why it was throwing me off so much about uh, um, why enemies were so easy in the game. All right. I'm going to hit random again. Uh, Wheel of Morality, turn and turn. Tell us a lesson and we will learn. Huh. Rock C. This is not one of my preferred chips, to put it mildly. Um, I do not have a victory with this. Hmm. Oh. So looking around, um, looks like I have at least normal of everything. Uh, we have a cloning bay this time instead of a uh, medical bay, which is a sign that we're probably conducive to boarding strategies. But looking at the room layout, this is not great, to put it mildly. It's actually pretty darn bad. Uh, looks like that we have two rock and one crystal. So, I've mentioned before, Rock are immune to fire, their movement speed is halved, and they have 50% more hit points. Crystal, on the other hand, have a power that they can just lock down a room. They don't take as much suffocation damage, which means that they're better in no oxygen, but still not perfect. Their movement speed is reduced by some. It's not as much as the rock because their movement speed is reduced by 50%, crystal reduced by 25%, and max health is increased by 25%. So they're kind of like a rock light. Um, rock ships start with rock plating. I mentioned this in the previous run, but rock plating gives you a chance to negate incoming hull damage. It's 15%. For some reason, I thought it was 50. Maybe it just feels like it when I'm fighting them. Um, we have Swarm Missiles, which are not great, to put it mildly. Um, so what it is, is that you can charge up multiple missiles to fire. They'd all still just use one missile. It would just have multiple warheads, which it's kind of like a flak cannon, only it will bypass shields and eats up missiles. It's not the worst, but it's not great. Um, there's also the Heavy Crystal Mark 1. Uh, this is just a projectile weapon that shoots things. Uh, it pierces one layer of shields, which is unique, but it's not really a good weapon. But, well, the Tektite is what we have chosen. That's what we will be starting with. All right. Uh, as usual, we have the same start type of thing. Uh, this time, the tip is ion weapons depower and lock a system for a time. If they hit enemy shields, they deal their stun damage directly to the shield system. I actually found out new information about this recently. So we're going to want to power up our weapons. You'll notice how slow the crystal weapon is. Ugh. That's a 13 second charge. Swarm missiles is 7-ish. It's actually 21, though. And the reason why it's 21 is because it's 7 seconds for the first missile, not for the subsequent missiles. Which means we have two slow weapons on the ship. Ugh, this is actually probably one of my least favorite ships. But, early distress signal, let's go. How are you doing? Um, week's been okay for me, I suppose. 
Nothing particularly wrong, but not really anything that I want to do. So, we arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt, find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. We had this event happen before, only last time we had blue text. Um, we don't have blue text this time, and I'm not going to be as nice this run, so I'm just going to destroy and loot the ship. But another pirate flashed up on our radar. All right. Um, oh, first off, I keep forgetting to do this. There is an option to... Where's the pause on combat? I thought there was an option for that. So window focus, auto pause. Uh, nope, I'm not saying it. Never mind. I thought there was. Anyway, here's our ship that we're fighting. It's a pirate scout, but they're in a rock ship. Uh, looks like they have a bomb and a standard missile. Or a standard... Laser. I don't care about the laser. I care about the bomb. Um, yeah. Take away power from Clone Bay. All power to engines so we can dodge. So yeah, you'll see this charge up and then continue charging for another shot and so on. Okay, so we do have shield piercing one, which means we could ignore that shield entirely. That shield does nothing for us. So I'm going to fire. I could fire on their oxygen system, I guess, but I am going to. Yeah, I'll fire on to weapons. See? Pierce the shield and dealt two damage to hull. It's a decent thing. All right, swarm missiles are ago you'll notice it has a small area of effect similar to flak and i'm gonna target piloting for that piloting took two points of damage um let's go ahead and nearly target piloting at this point i mean we're just going to have to destroy ships for a bit we don't really have a viable method of dealing with this and of course, since they're rock, they can resist damage to their hull, so this might take a bit. It's the reason why I have it on auto right now. Oh, anime ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Yeah, have fun trying to escape when you have no piloting. Uh, looks like they've repaired weapons up a little bit. We don't care about that little pew pew. You dead yet? No. You know what? Fine, just die. Don't feel like dealing with you. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, one drone part, 14 scrap. Not great, not the worst. The stress signal's still here because we never actually dealt with that pirate. Not much we can do, unfortunately. Let's go into the nebula. Black market trader spins you the tale of dangers of the nebula before pushing the wares. So we would be able to buy an unknown weapon for 45 scrap, but we don't have 45 scrap. We couldn't have, in fact. Uh, we can ignore the ship, but again, we're being mean. We're attacking. Um, you've got, you've got a missile launcher. I don't like that. I want you to fire your first missile directly at weapons. Try to take out that missile launcher as fast as we can. It was fast enough. Good. I'll let the swarm charge up then. Yeah, that's a hull laser, which would do more damage, but... We don't really need to worry about it. Um, Yeah, just go ahead and keep targeting that while I talk with you. Hi. Drinking some more water. Oh, they're powering up their FTL drive because we have a slow ship. Uh, we're going to probably see a lot of ships that try to run away. Oh. Well. How about you just die? Three fuel, two missiles, and 16 scrap. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. I just noticed that we can't connect here. Whoops. Should have paid more attention. My mistake. Move the window up. Ooh. 
seven fuel for two missiles. We do use missiles, but that's a really good deal when I'm trading it. Especially since we're going to be jumping around a lot on this sector. All right, we will absolutely intervene to defend the outpost because you're squishy. We've got a drone system. Combat drone, anti-combat drone. Don't care about that one, do care about that one. Go like that. Oh wait, no, that's a beam drone. Okay, in that case I only care about... I only care about one of those two. The beam drone can sit there forever if they have no way of getting through my shields. I am going to want to take out their shields as fast as I can. There we go. Or not shields. Uh, take out their weapon system as fast as I can. From here, you can just target piloting. We'll be fine. They already got their weapons back online. How dare they. Oh. Welp, you're just going to have to die, I guess. Trying to save on missiles. Missiles are expensive. This ship is basically useless without its missiles. And that sucks. You did it? Yeah, you are. Right? Two fuel, one drone, 18 scrap. And we gain an additional four fuel and 19 scrap. We're doing on the scrap front right now. Let's go jump up to the other half of the system. Greetings, friend. We've heard about your quest and wish to hire our valuable services. So we can spend 16 scrap to have the rebels be delayed. We can spend 10 scrap to scout the sector. We can fight the ship or just leave. I'm going to have them scout the sector because that's extremely useful for us. See, it tells us we have those two distress beacons and there's a store down there. It also tells us that there are ships in each of these spots. There's not a ship at that distress beacon. Or, enemy ship, I should say. Um, you can have events still at these locations that spawn ships. So I'm going to the distress beacons now. So what I want to do is go there, 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 hit the store, then run to the exit. I should have enough time. Um, you're out of fuel? You know what? I have actually a decent amount of fuel. Maybe I won't be as cruel as I thought. Oh, of course, you gave me a sector map again. I would have known. I would have told you to go screw yourself. Oh, well. Federation scum! We've waited a long time for this. Ooh. Hacking, drone system, their weapons, a missile... Oh, this might be really bad, actually. They're hacking weapons. Okay. Yep, and then draining my weapons. I'm not really too concerned about their drone system that I think about it. Yeah, I don't care about their drone system. This will not do me damage. This will, though. And because they hacked my weapons, they get first shot. At least they hit an empty system. That's not too bad. That should drop their weapons. So now I just want to hit their hacking system before I get hacksword again. There we go. Yeah, this drone is basically just leveling up shield. Oh, that's right. I actually don't have anybody on shield, so it's not doing anything. Um, if they miss, it levels up my engines and piloting. That's helpful.
powering up their FTL drive. Well, how about you take some missiles? Offering terms of surrender. I mean, three fuel is nice. I think I can get better. Bye. Suckers. Uh, yeah, two missiles. I mean, fuel's nice, but I was starting to run low on missiles, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, I should have enough time. You find the source of the stress call. Small research station. It appears that a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send your rock crew member in, though. Your rock soldier tears through... Yeah, we had this event in the previous one. There's a lot of events in this game. We've just had a lot of repeats. And we get an FTL recharge booster. That's nice. So it's not something I would normally pick up. But what this does is it boosts how fast our FTL drive charges up so we can run away. Um, it's not something I particularly like too much. But it's not bad. It's just not very useful. But hey, it was free. Uh... Planet sparkled with settlements, not doing anything. Let's go to the stow. Got 103 scrap. If they've got something good, I'll pick it up. Otherwise, I'm probably going to save the scrap. They don't really have much of anything good other than the teleporter. Automated reloader is nice. Uh, really nice, in fact. That's not a terrible thing to pick up. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and sell the recharge booster because I would like to make sure I have one spot open still. Yeah, we'll do that. And that's it. Really hoping to see crew there. And use some Zoltan. Just looking at the captions. By the way, I have the captions feature I'm hopefully going to have on YouTube. I've been told that it may not be working very well. Um, spend two fuel for five missiles. Yes. Let's go to the next sector. I have been recording for all of 17 minutes. <laughs> Okay, you notice that the sector map is different than what it was before. I think easy is specifically split up in those two paths, and all of the other difficulties have this type of mess. Nebulas usually cost more fuel. Um, civilian sectors usually have lower scrap rewards. I'm going to go into the nebula. I have plenty of fuel right now. And having the camera systems overrated. <laughs> okay. Nothing next to me right now. Um, let's go out to here. I'm a little concerned due to my lack of shields. I will absolutely chase them. Ah, crap. You get disoriented in the nebula and lose your bearings completely. Take some time to get back to the beacon. It's likely that the fleet has had time to advance closer to your position. But basically, the fleet moves twice instead of once. Which sucks. There, then there, then there, I think. We have intruders. They're in oxygen. And also cloning. Oh, crap. That's not a good combination. Right. Maxim lockdown. That means that basically they can't leave. Nobody could leave the cloning bay for the time being um, while the lockdown's in place, which is good. Um in this case, and this will eventually time out, and we'll recharge. 
Unfortunately, my rock crew is so slow. Oh crap, there was people in cameras as well? You know what? Entire rest of this. You know what? Just open everything. Other than these spots. I should have just done that from the start. Wait, I'm gonna close that off as well. Okay. Damas. Move out there for now. Yeah, you're just going to die. That's okay. Because I have a cloning bay, so it's not that big of a deal that I have somebody to die. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to open everything else. You know what? Just open the entire ship, other than cloning bay. Don't care. That's what cloning bays are for. Oh, crap. Forgot to actually power the cloning bay. Dang it. Well, at least nobody died. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're just going to have everybody die and come back. It'll be fine. Ah, crap. Now they're attacking cloning. Fine. Open up cloning as well. And close cloning now. Okay, there's no more intruders on the ship, so I'm going to close the doors. Open up interior. You're going to start repairing cameras. Welcome back to new you. You're going to also repair cameras. Cloning base. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the way they work is that they'll respawn, but they will level down when they respawn. Unfortunately, they weren't very high level to begin with, so everybody is basically at garbage level, which is level zero. Oh, no, I have a little bit of melee power and a little bit of weapons power, but... I lost any progress that I had, basically, which sucks. Let this run for a little bit. Sitting over. I am on a different chair. That might be the reason why. I want oxygen up to at least the 80 to 90% range. Um, the other thing cloning bays do is that each um, mouse over cloning bay. Uh, yeah, each time that I jump to a new sector, all of my crew e heal eight hit points. Unfortunately, that means that I don't have a way of um, healing otherwise. So it's why I let them all die rather than, like, say, closing the doors and saving the ones that could have been saved type of thing. Uh, the other option would have been running to door control and trying to lock down. Eh. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah, you can see the giant jump that they're about to do. See? A little bit of healing. Eerily quiet. There's a store. I have 88. I uh, don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do that. I'm just going to go to the store now. I have enough. If there's something awesome, I can probably buy it. Weapons. All well, lasers, not what I want. I don't want breach missiles, and repair burst is just bad. I can buy a slug. So we haven't had any slug crew members yet, but they're telepathic, so they can actually see rooms around them, and also, or they can also see generally where people are, even when sensors are down. They're also immune to mind control, which are really nice, actually. Prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. That's interesting.
not happy with my options. This has not been a good run for buying things so far. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Mr. Booga. Tomas doesn't really have anything useful in that regard. Tomas is going to shields. Mr. Booga will be our pilot. Welcome to the team, Mr. Booga. Save positions and jump. We need more scrap because I really need to level up shields. I don't like how low they are right now. And of course, I keep finding nothing everywhere with the stress beacon. Yeah, that's one way I'm going to do it. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Distress beacon is active, but you're not sure if anybody's aboard. I'll hail them. They're relieved to hear from you. They're running low on drones, apparently. No. I don't care about drones. I don't have any drones. I can sell missiles for scrap. No. I'm using missiles still. Look at how much fuel I've spent on this one sector and have found nothing, basically. Uh, Manta ship at going to attack. Okay. Um, can you get to door control? So yeah, you can now see outlines of what types of creatures are on the ship and where they are. So we're going to have two Mantis board us. I mean, that's going to be what happens. Oh no, actually, it's going to be an Enki and a Mantis. Where are you teleporting at? Oh, just the Mantis. Going after oxygen. Yeah, unfortunately, door control doesn't work very well like that. You're just going to go in there and help Mr. Booga. Uh, crumble. And we've taken a hit to our weapons, dealing two damage. Oh. Poopy. Okay, let's swap positions. So this is a little trick that you can do. Um, you can swap positions of people inside of a room as long as you do... Oops. As long as you do it in a particular way. Here, let me cancel out both of these and show you. So right now, we've got Mr. Buga in the first position and Tomas in the second position. I want to swap them. The reason why I want to swap them is that if there's one enemy in the room, they'll attack whoever's in the first position of the room. Mr. Buga has fewer hit points than Tomas, by far. So what I'm going to do is move Mr. Buga out of the room. This is all while paused. Select Tomas. Move Tomas out of the room, then move Tomas back in the room, then move Mr. Booga back in the room. What that will do is swap their positions. Now Tomas is the one getting hit, and that's fine. I need to take their weapon systems down. I shot their weapon hit. Okay. It's not what I was expecting to do. Why am I running out? There must have been like an air release or something. And door controls down. Cool. This is going well. Yep. So the Mantis teleported back and is healing up now. Take out their weapons so I can actually do something, please. Just keep firing on their weapons. It'll be fine. They can teleport back in. Whatever. Where are they going? Door can... Uh, they're going to cameras. Oh. That's why. It's breached hull. Ugh. Eric, you're also going to go in there. Because, um... Tomas can't take that by himself. Target their teleporter, please. Thank you. That way they're stuck here. Don't want to deal with that anymore. Then keep targeting their weapons. I'm tired of dealing with this. All right. You're dead. 
two of you are going to sit tight for a bit, actually. Or go back to your stations. That makes more sense. We'll repair the ship after we're done. Speaking of, we're done. All right. Okay. Um, everybody's injured. Mr. Buka is the most expendable member of our party because he hasn't really leveled up yet. So I'm going to actually have him start working on the hull breach. He's going to die, respawn, and I'm going to keep doing that. Told you, this is going to be a cruel ship by comparison, because I'm going to kill my crew members a lot. Poor Mr. Buga, he didn't know what he was signing up for. Oh, that section of the ship is currently out of oxygen. Cool. It's because I can't control doors. Which means that Mr. Buga is probably going to die again, because that oxygen is going to drop like a rock. Oh, he's stabilized at eight hit points. I might actually want him to die anyway. Get door control back online, which it is now. Cool. Mr. Buga, just... Yeah. Interior doors. Keep exterior ones closed. Mr. Buga, go back through cloning vats again, because you can't level down below level zero. It's fine. It's fine. Grumble. This run is not going well. Oh, that's right. He actually did repairs, which meant that he lost the experience from that. That's okay. Uh, oxygen's good enough. Yeah, you can see that Mr. Buka can see the two rooms around him as well. All right. We've got time. I'm going to jump back over to here. of which nothing is going to happen. An arm, a rock tra armored transport looks nearby, looks at, ah, I cannot read today apparently. A rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail them, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seem to no aid, leave now. But we have rock crew members, so we have the offer to lead them out of the nebula. The rock grudgingly transfers control of their helm to you, and you steer them to a thinner part of the nebula. They're not sure what to think, but transfer over some supplies all the same. The scrap spends the same to me. Oh, we're in that type of place. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. All right, a pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging by the fact that he's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. We're attacking. They have a teleporter. Cool. Exactly what I want to deal with. Teleport and boarding parties on a time that I have garbage for door control. Really should be leveling up door control, shouldn't I? I have so many other things I need to level... All right, where are you going to teleport to, you? You can actually reach door control. So I can do that. Your weapon systems. Okay, I need to fire on your weapons. Actually, I'm just going to do that now. Get weapons to be penalized as much as possible because that's going to hurt otherwise. But it'll also give me enough time to do that. Knock down teleportation. Mr. Booga can fight him off. It's fine. I know I can't dodge right now, which sucks, but uh, the rest of my crew is just not very good at this type of thing. All 
right. Their teleporter being up is irrelevant at this point. Mr. Booga, please go back to piloting. They're trying to run away. Not that they can because they're too busy trying to repair their ship. Now they can. And now they can't. <laughs> They've got weapon systems back online. They're going to die just like that. Boom. Ship was apparently tra transporting weaponry. However, nothing seems to have survived the battle. So if I had boarded that ship or somehow defeated them all the way, I probably would have gotten a weapon, which would have been really nice. Okay. So go back to regenerating as much as I can. Because I need the healing on everybody. That's another smuggler. The smuggler's a lot nastier than the previous one, it looks like. Although, they only have a crappy weapon. Mr. Buka, please assume the position in door control. Side door. Where are you teleporting to? Oh, you teleported into shields. That'll be fine. Mr. Buka can go back. Uh, swarm missiles are online. I really don't care about them. I am just going to target their transporters and nothing else. Well, for now. It's mostly a, uh, I wonder if I can starve them. Probably not. I'd have to hit too many systems. They don't have that much hull. So weapons are garbage. Don't care about that. At least I think that's garbage. Maybe I'll tap on their weapons once just in case. Oh yeah, their weapons are garbage. Don't care. Uh, in that case, I'm going to tap on pilot. Oh, I already fired. Oh, well. Let's see if I can starve them out. I don't think I can. Because that Enki is too fast at doing much of anything. I basically have to kill the Enki in order to be able to do it. Yeah, I did not succeed at killing the Enki. Yeah, and their med bay was two points. Ships appears to be transporting prisoners, which are now all dead. Thirty-eight minutes? Wow. This is way faster now that I'm not explaining every single mechanic every time. And that's it for the sector. We're gonna do three sectors. Okay. So the rule of thumb when it comes to red sectors is that you always prefer going to a sector that you match. It. So in this case, if I had the choice between, say, a rock sector and a mantis sector, I would choose a rock sector because I actually have rock crew. There's more opportunities for me to get blue text events. So a rock-controlled sector is actually going to be better for me. Unfortunately, I hate fighting rock. All right. I don't have a shop nearby. I need to upgrade shields and door control, probably. We'll do that for the time being. I need to pull up to two. Also, there's a fly that's driving me up the wall. There's a pair of flies in this house right now. There's uh, there's a lot of different places, and I'm a little low on fuel. A little concerned. No one bothers your ship as you float among the numerous space stations and mining platforms. The rocks certainly run efficient operations. A mantis ship here is adorned with rock body parts. It'd be a gorier display if they had internal organs, but the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialized kind. Ah, I could ram the bastards. I could put my rock crew member on the comm. Notice that they have two shields. I'm, I've never had this option. Hold on a moment. Okay, back. Um, I'm going to go with the one that I've never seen before. Ram the bastards. 
Before they have a chance, you ram your ship into theirs, causing irreparable damage to their engines. Luckily, your ship's armored hull is hardly dented from the impact. The Manta ship careens away, and you move in to attack. So I knocked out their engines, which means that they are sitting ducks. They've got a teleporter, they also have a cloning bay. Their weapons look painful. Also, because they have two shields, my little pew pew is not going to do much good. This is going to hurt a lot. Yep, weapons went down. Cool. Can't do anything. What are you doing in there? Yeah, I have to repair weapons. And they teleported back. Cool. Mr. Buka, please repair. I can't do anything until I get my swarm weapons back up, and they're just going to go down again. Ah. <sighs> Divert power from life support to engines. Oxygen's down. Cool. Ah, they boarded me again. Cool. I mean, if I can only get my weapon systems up enough to be able to take out their weapons, this is actually going to be an easy fight, because all I have to do is take out their, um, which one call it, um, cloning bay, because they're injured. Shields are down. Cool. Please fire on that as soon as you can. Oh, this is going to hurt. Vent that room. I am already down to 12 hull. Awesome. All right. Weapons have been, unfortunately, not eliminated fast enough. Shields are completely offline. Get their shield with that. Oh, dang it. I did not actually do enough damage to their shields. Piece of crap. This is going very poorly. Engines are now offline, which means that I can't... I can't run away. All right, got the cloning bay offline. Hit their shields again. Got him. You find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew to stop you, you can install it on your own. It's even more swarm missiles. Now let's slowly heal up my damn ship. Oh. My weapon systems are terrible. 
and I have yet to have the opportunity to buy anything better. This run may only be one episode. <laughs> uh, we gotta go back to stations. There's no sign of anybody out there. I need more power. I need more everything. I need fewer flies hovering around my head. Grumble. Grumble, I say. Grumble. <sighs> Increase power by one. Drop engines. Increase shields. We have ten hull remaining, and we're only on sector three. See, this is not the way the runes for me go. Uh, horribly is the answer. Just horribly. Uh, let's get our oxygen up higher first. Just noticed how bad it was. Ninety percent is good enough. I need repair facilities. I need everything. I will totally take a free heavy ion cannon, though. Heavy ion's not great. But it's better than nothing. Kind of what I have right now. Distress beacon. Might as well. How am I screwed over today? Tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Well, how about I shield your ship with my own and escort you out? You succeed at preventing them from being entirely destroyed. Your improved hull taking the brunt of the asteroids that make past their past your defenses. They offer you some scrap and fuel they are mining as out of the asteroid as thanks. I appreciate the scrap. Ah. Uh. If I upgrade Cloning Bay, I'll heal twice as fast, and given how low hit points everybody is, yeah, that's sad that I'm doing that, but, um, I'm gonna go like that. It hurts, but I really only need the Cloning Bay powered up for first jump. Enemies never have pre-igniters, so... A curious, uh, curious sight greets you at the beacon. A disabled rock freighter drifts in space while two mantis crap battle it out, presumably over who deserves the spoils. I'll wait, then attack the surviving one. The mantis crap may have their differences, but when it comes to you, they are of one mind. The smaller ship suffers, suffers a power failure as it moves to engage, but the larger one lets off a volley of fire and moves in to attack. All right. So, we need to worry about their weapons. They don't have a teleporter. Cool. Target weapons. Targeting weapons, Captain. Missing weapons, Captain. Mm, completely missing weapons, Captain. Okay, at least hit some weapons. It's not great. I need to take out their weapons before they kill me. At least take out their stupid missiles. Okay, took out missiles at least. Their missiles are back online, because why not? Swarm hit and kill them. All right, in the time it took for you to eliminate the Mantis ship, the rock must have repaired their FTL drive and jumped away. You pick the bones of both mantle, mantis vessels. At least you gave me two of the missiles I spent to kill you. Store! Okay. Oh, I forgot to power up the stupid cloning bay. What do you have for me? Repairing is cheap, at least. I would love to pick up hacking or a crew teleport or even drone control at this point. An explosive replicator would be nice, too. 
reconstructive teleport would work great if I actually had teleporters. I can't afford that. I can't afford much of anything. I'm going to just have to sink all of my scrap into repair. Okay. Buy a couple of missiles. Buy the rest of the fuel. It's not what I want to do, but it's what I have to do. Stress signal. Once more, I forgot to power up my stupid cloning bay. Oh wait, they healed anyway. I don't have to power them up. Cool. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. They're setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Send your rock crew member to prevent a riot. It's unlikely the rock's impressive immune system is susceptible to a human virus, so you send it in. It's able to contain the workers long enough for the colony forces to set up a quarantine. Their leaders offer a reward and assure you that they will try to find a cure for as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 just give me the reward. <laughs> There's another store. That store's not going to do me any good. I have 14 scrap. I don't have enough for much. Oh, I forgot I can sell weapons. Damn it. Oh, well. A rock ship flies past your windows, and you recognize outcast decorations on the hall. These must be pirates! Alright, no teleporter. One pew pew. That is a chain pew pew, so it will get faster. But cloaking device. Okay. How do I want to do that? Oh no, they have missiles too. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out their weapon systems as fast as possible again. Because that. Oh, cool. You lit that on fire too. Both missiles missed. My shields are completely offline right now. Because of the fire. They cloaked. Weapons are starting to go down. I'm dead, aren't I? Oxygen, uh, life support's at offline. Hull is down to, let's see, 6 divided by 30, so Hull is down to 20%. Hull's down to 20%, Captain. We cannot take any more. Screw this place. I am just teleporting out, running away, don't care. And taking this sector to try to repair. Repairing oxygen. Get our life support back online as soon as we can. I think we'll make it. Yep, we're okay. All right, now that life support's back online. Oh, I did not want to attack. Open that up. That's right. So, funny thing about this is that this only has one slot available for anything. So there's only room for, uh, there's standing room only here, even though it looks like there should be two, but the cloning facility itself is taking up one of the slots. <sighs> Weapons are terrible. And all I've found are similarly terrible weapons. I am selling them. Store is safe. I can heal at the store at least. Oh, now I find good weapons. Of course, when I can't afford them because my ship is barely limping along. 
All right, first off, sell that crap now. Okay. I can afford a flak one. Yep, buying it. Then I'm going to sell... Black one takes two power. I should sell the swarm missiles. How much would it take to upgrade? 35. I can't get 35 out of the crystal. I'm gonna have to sell the swarm missiles. I don't want to. Don't really have a choice. And now, start trying to repair as much as I can afford. Okay. That's gonna have to do. That sucks. Bring Flack online. It's better than what I had, and of course now... Ugh. Rebel Fleet's taking the exit. All right. You've found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Alright, you'll notice that the rebel ship is very heavily equipped, to put it mildly. And also we have this thing. We have anti-ship batteries. So the fleet is actually firing artillery at us. Because, you know, why make this easy? I am definitely lower down. Doesn't help that I'm slouching, but still. So, um, those anti-ship batteries will just tear holes right through our hull. So, we need to run. Yeah, that's what that is, for reference. I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can to try to slow them down. I completely missed them. Cool. They missed me, at least, so that's not... Oh, piece of crap, they freaking hit my piloting. And camera control. I don't care about camera control. Oh. They've repaired enough of their shields, too. Cool. Life support's down, Captain. Shields are at critical, Captain. We're down to six hull already. They tore a hole right through the ship there. We're down to three hull now. Pretty sure we're dead. Ooh, that actually missed. I was not expecting that. I don't think we're going to make it. Ha ha! We only are making it because of that. Oh, bye! We have one hole in seven scrap. Oh. This is not going to end well. The ship, I might as well just continue until we're dead, because, yeah. We need to get oxygen back online. Life support's kind of essential. I didn't want you to walk through there, dang it me. Then I'm going to repair cameras to see what other damage to the ship we may have. Alright, it's just that room. So if we get oxygen systems back up a little bit more, I can open these doors and start repairing this. Actually, Maxim, you could probably repair it pretty easily now. Mm 
And the reason why he can repair it is he takes less damage from unoxygenated rooms compared to normal. It's actually slightly slower. You've repaired it. Just move back, please. Uh, Mr. Booga, please return back to your assigned locations. All right, we have seven scrap. Only one place to go. Let's see how well this works. Uh, no, I don't use drones. All I have is fuel. Eerily quiet. Auto assault with three shields. I think this is death. All that, all they have to do is hit with that missile and I'm dead. Well, I shot their stuff. That would have worked decently well, if it weren't for the fact that I'm dead from that missile instead. And bye bye. <laughs> well, that was a very quick trip. Hope you've enjoyed my incredibly craptacular run of FTL, and I'll talk to you after I eat lunch. If I had anything to eat today, other than ice cream. Bye.